Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. Um, I did the update on the holy clay pots and I ended up filming all of them. And when I put the clips together, far too much for a single vid. So I've done one, which I'm well doing now, basically. What is it today? Wednesday. And I'll stick this on the front of the clips that I didn't use and make a second one, which I've then got something ready to post for tomorrow which if you're watching this is today because it will have been yesterday. <laughs> uh, the downside of building up a collection of videos to post in advance is you lose track of which flipping day you film them on. Anyway, all the clips were filmed on Wednesday, irrespective of when the final video gets posted. And what I might do is if, if this one ends up being quite short, I might add on a few bits um, of the Phalaenopsis, which I'm about to water. I mean, there's two of those in holy clay pots that didn't get filmed, but they've been filmed quite recently. So uh, I'll see what this one turns out like, but it's the unused clips from previously and um, anything else I add on. This is another big one. Um, this, is, um, this is Catlia Angel Heart. And um, some bifoliates occasionally will put out three leaves. Occasionally they'll only put out one. But if it's a bifolia, its normal growth pattern will be a pair of leaves. And then your sheath comes out of the middle. Now, this one's being strange, um, but it did get messed about. When I got it, that new growth was broken and this one was just starting. Well, it, well it's grown on nicely, I'm pleased with that. And we've got a good root system in the pot. Um, so I'm pleased with the way the plant's taken. That's good. I haven't had it that long, and um, this latest new growth has pushed on at a hell of a rate. But, because it was disturbed, repotted, the chances are it just decided to do one leaf instead of two. But it has put a sheath out and the buds have burst out the top now. So it looks like there will be only two. That's okay. You know, it's been disturbed, been repotted, it's in a new environment, it's got to settle. Yeah? So, Two buds, bearing in mind they're pretty big, blousy Cattleya types, I'm quite pleased with. So that one's coming on. All the other leaves on that plant and nothing to do with me. This is the only new growth I've got so far. And um, I'm pleased that it's managed to complete that growth and bloom on it. Yeah. Bearing in mind, I haven't had it long and it, it was quite badly disturbed to get it into the holy clay pot. But it's come on and it's going to bloom. I think it's too late for those buds to blast now. I think they're relatively safe. <laughs> All right, these two were one. This was one quite good plant, quite large plant, but it was in a plastic pot. Media was starting to get a bit old, not gone over or anything, but the latest two growths that it started were right over the edge of the pot. So uh, if I'd left it in the plastic pot, all of, it, all of the roots from those new growths would have gone down the outside of the plastic pot. So I decided to split it in two, get it in holy clay pots where it can now just stay. And the two new growths have grown on okay. Um, this one's come on nicely. Yeah, so, and, and it's, the roots have extended nicely as a consequence. So, uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with that bit. It's got a sheath on the latest growth. Whether it's got enough root support there and enough strength in it to actually produce buds as well, I'll wait and see. I'm just pleased that the plant's taken off okay. Um, this one's produced a lot more roots, including some from older parts of the plant. Now, the good thing about that is, is if this back end of the plant has now got its own little root system, that eye may open. That may push on, and I'll have two leads on this one. Unknown. But again, the new growth pushed on. It's, it's done a good root system. Quite happy in here. This one's also got a sheath. This is a big and blousy, typical Cattleya, magenta, with some yellow in the lip and all that sort of stuff. But um, as I said, that was one plant. It's now two. Just a no ID Cattleya, you know, just bought as such. But smashing blooms on it. That actually got a second in a show a while ago. Uh, oh, I can't remember which one. But yeah, I mean, when it was in bloom last time, it had two, two growths that bloomed together. So there were four really large 
typical blousy catlier type blooms on that, so it was quite a spectacle last time it bloomed. Um, if it does bloom this time, oh that rain again, if it does bloom this time the chances are there may only be one bud. I may be lucky and get two, but we'll have to wait and see. I may get none. You know, it's, again it's badly disturbed, it's got to settle in, produce new growths, they're the right size, right size leaves, it's got sheaths. We'll have to wait and see if buds form. Now this is another relatively large no ID cattleya and looking at the latest growth I don't think it's as large as it could be. <laughs> latest growth quite a bit larger than anything that's come before. Um, this was annoying because um, when it pushed out its new growth it pushed one out each side of the last one. last one was quite dwarfed compared with what came before and here's a classic example. Is it a bifolia or isn't it? There's a bulb there with a pair of leaves, there's one there with a pair of leaves. That one's got a single leaf, that one's got a single leaf, so is that, so is that. So it hasn't made its mind up yet, has it? <laughs> it does some of each, basically. But um, when I got this, it was in bloom on this particular bulb. It pushed out this new growth on a very poor root system, so that's nowhere near as big as it could have been. Started a sheath and promptly aborted it. But then it pushed out two nice new growths, one of which completely aborted, still didn't have a good root system. Now it's done the roots. It's pushed out a perfectly large enough root system to support that plant. And as a consequence, the latest new growth is larger than anything that has come before. So this is more like what it should like look like, but nonetheless only one leaf. <laughs> it does have a sheath. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> ah, coffee went down the wrong way. Um, so it does have a sheath. Whether it will bloom on that I don't know. These are large bright orange blooms, if and when. <laughs> if and when. Always if and when. That's something a bit different. It's not only the Cattleya Alliance that are in the um, holy clay pots. There are some other bits and pieces as well. This is actually an Encyclia. This is Prismato Carpa. Now I've only ever seen these bloom on quite large plants. So even though I've got two nice strong new growths coming up, which I'm dead pleased about, especially with the associated roots, because this was in a poor state. So it's coming on now. I don't expect blooms from those two new growths. I suspect they will have to mature and possibly bloom on the next set. One, two, three, whatever I get. I'll take what I get because this was in a sorry state. But a well recovered plant and as I said two new growths pushing up and uh, we'll see how they do. Um, previous growth on this one got chomped. Um, so all the leaf damage on there was done by bugs basically in the earlier days when it was new and easily biteable. <laughs> but it's coming on as say two new growths and I don't expect them to bloom. I suspect it will be at least the next lot. These need to be quite large plants. They don't bloom on young plants. Um, all the previous growths have had a sheath. Every single one of them including the back bulb I took off to get it in this pot but they've never bloomed. So I think it needs size, size and strength to get it to bloom. We'll see. Now these two I get asked about quite often. These were the two lost causes that were just sat on the shelf. Well, I was going to say bare rooted, but they didn't have any flipping roots. They were just thrown on the shelf. Um, got dunked in water and stood in water for a while, taken out, got moss wrapped around them. They did nothing for months, six months plus. So I put them down as a lost cause. And then they just both at the same time decided to grow. Very slowly and cagily, but they're doing something. Um, so this piece does have a new growth and it is progressing. Um, this one had three tiny little root stumps. Well, one of them's not doing that well, the one that's hit the edge of the pot. The one to the right there is heading off down into the pot. The one on the left has gone right across the pot and down the edge and deep down in. So that's a major successful route and there are signs of other roots coming out under the base of that new growth. So although it's slow progress, it has got progress. 
and it can still feed itself through these leaves even though they're not brilliant yeah so it, it's capable now of feeding itself it's got enough roots to keep that new growth going now this one only had an eye and one single little root nubbin well the root grew whoops yeah and when it was potted that was just literally about a root about an inch long maybe an inch and a half well it grew and came out the pot I wish it hadn't I wish it had stayed in it's now branched at the top and that branch has got a lovely growing tip on it now that's not much of a root system one single root and a branch there could be more branches down in there that I can't see but what was effectively a dormant eye is now starting to grow <clears throat> very slowly but then it ain't getting much food is it not through one root and a branch <laughs> it'll be getting a little bit through the leaves as well coming in through the top of the plant these are still viable they're starting to pale but hopefully there's still a little bit of photosynthesis going on I hope so because there certainly isn't any going on here there's no leaves yet so those are the two well, I'll call them rescues, but as I said, they were on the lost cause list. Those so nearly went out under the hedge so many times. And if they were in the way, they'd have gone. It's only the fact that there was a bit of shelf space and, and I just thought, I'll just chuck them on there and see what they do. But they look like they're going to come on. It's going to be very slow progress. But uh, any progress on these, I'll take. Because I didn't think they were going to make it. So... <clears throat> Beautiful bloom on this, absolutely huge, beautiful bloom. So, you know, to rescue these is, is quite important to me because of the bloom. So no ID in effect, although when it did bloom, quite a long time ago, <laughs> um, lots of people suggested what it might be. But I'm convinced that it's either a primary hybrid or a species crossed with a cross but it is quite close to several species when you look at the bloom. Quite close, but not spot on. It could be a species variety. You know, one of the named varieties of the species. But can't have a positive ID, you know, when it could be one of many. So I'll just be grateful if they make it <laughs> coming on. Oh, it's just come to me. John Greco. God, what a dummy. <laughs> Orchid dude, BCN, our, our Spanish friend from Barcelona. <laughs> Sorry, John, that, that's just come back, you know. It's like I say, everything you've ever heard and seen is in your brain somewhere. It's the retrieval mechanism that's a pain in the proverbial. Sorry, John. <laughs> anyway, now we know who I was talking about probably about 10, 15 minutes ago. This is another one of the new acquisitions with no tag, for the same reason as the last one. <clears throat> I'll get round to it. If I get my new pens on Saturday, then I'll do the tags on Sunday-ish. <laughs> um, but this is a young plant. Um, this was a reasonable size pseudo bulb. Its next one is still maturing. Yeah, so slightly bigger. And I was quite worried about this little new growth because it looked very weak. But um, since it's been potted up, it's, it's becoming sturdier looking. Yeah, it's not all loose and floppy anymore. It's got some strength in it. So I think that will push on. Now, this could do something silly and bloom on that one, but highly unlikely. It's a, it is a young plant. It might bloom on that one. I suspect it will need to mature this properly, spread the leaves out a bit more, get this one mature, and it may well bloom on the next one. So maybe a little bit of a wait on this one. But I was pleased with the plant, had a good enough root system to get it going again, and a new growth, even though I was slightly worried about it, but I'm not worried anymore. It's growing on. It's doing okay. And this one's Prosthetia Green Hornet. And this just suddenly decided to keel over, or looked as though it was going to, let's put it that way. It went right up to near the top of the worry list. No real reason, but the roots just started to go. <coughs> um, where is it? Yeah, that new growth down in there just aborted. I thought, oh, here we go, I'm going to lose one. And then um, I put it in here. Uh, that's when the new growth aborted, basically. It just... Uh, 
didn't have a very good root system. Well, since then, it's now starting to grow some roots in a couple of strange places, but it is growing some roots. It's got a new growth here. Um, looks a bit weak, but it's growing. There's another one somewhere as well. Yeah, this one in here. Um, now, this did have scale, um, hence the marks. And um, I've just got a couple of scale off of this, and um, basically I just touched them and they fell off. So the systemic is doing its job, but obviously there was a point when it wasn't doing its job, and um, a few bite marks are now on those leaves. But there are two new growths on there, and it is now producing new roots. And you see the amount of new roots that have come out at the base of that new growth, a lot of which have gone down in the pot. Some have decided to climb all over the plant, but it's getting going again. It still doesn't look happy to me, but not dead yet. It's coming on. I was hoping to find another scale to show you what it's like when you find one that's dead. I think I took them all off before I thought about it. But literally, if you see an adult scale on a plant, um, all you need to do is put your nail next to it and move it slightly. And if it just comes straight off without any effort at all, it's dead. Yeah? So you know whatever treatments you may have applied have worked. Um, it's the little white fluffy things you need to look out for because uh, they live quite a long time without feeding much. Yeah, so if you've ever had scale, you've probably still got some lurking somewhere ever vigilant. If you've ever had scale, you must always be on the lookout. Specifically if a particular plant, like this one, had it quite bad. There could still be scale lurking on this that are living. Now, hopefully with the systemic inside, if they take a bite out of the plant, they're brown bread. But, you know, you've still got to be vigilant. The systemic don't last forever, you know. So keep your eye out. I think the expression is, if you've ever had scale, then you've probably still got them. They'll be back. Yeah. They are a nuisance to get rid of. <laughs> anyway, it's um, recovering. Whether those two latest new growths will actually bloom or not, I don't know. See, I mean, this growth, that had concertina leaves, just wasn't growing well. It suddenly decided it was not happy. And it seems to be a bit happier now. So hopefully it's going to pull on. Um, that was the... Uh, it was either that growth or that growth. Actually bloomed not that long ago. Blooms didn't last that long. That's a telltale sign. Plant's not happy. Especially if you've got records and you think, well, they lasted six weeks last time. This time they only lasted three. Well, plant's not happy. <laughs> Summit not quite right. Anyway, hopefully it's recovering. This is another one of the new acquisitions, but this came from a different nursery that actually does decent tags, so it can stay. Um, Siang Yu Red Pearl Red Dragonfly. Um, could have just been, if you'd think about the name, it could have been Red Pearl Dragonfly. Didn't need two reds in it, did it? <laughs> it just makes the tag 12 foot long. Anyway, this one didn't have that good a root system, but the root system is showing signs of getting going again. There are root tips now, um, so that's okay. And this little new growth that I wasn't sure about is pushing on. Yeah, it's stable. Yeah, so it should grow on okay. Well, hopefully it will anyway. This leaf I don't think is long for this world. It's The kink in it is just too great, even if I straighten that up. Yeah, so, so this leaf will probably fall. But it's still got enough leaves to feed the plant, and with a new root system pushing on, it should do okay. And even if this new growth doesn't make it, there are eyes. It will push others out as a consequence of the roots getting going. It might do it anyway. You never know. But anyway, it has got a new growth. We'll see how well that pushes on. Right, these are the only um, phalaenopsis with something to show really I suppose you could say. Now I don't normally let spikes branch um, on the grounds that um, a lot of my phalaenopsis are not classed as what I would call growing really really strong, really healthy. So I sort of think along the lines if it's managed to push a good spike up with a good set of blooms 
it could probably do with the rest and put some leaves and roots out yeah um, they don't mean that much to me if you know what I mean um, but nonetheless I could see this one was branching before the blooms finished and it's it's got a pot full of roots I mean it's a good root system on that plant it can take it I'm the oldest leaf's just gonna go but forget that <laughs> so I've let that one branch um, this is the um, Oh, I've just thrown the blooms away. I've just literally cut the spike now. Um, but it's the big purple one with the really pale edges. So, yeah, I mean, you know, another another five or six blooms on there. It's funny, this one, every single spike that this one pushes up always has the second to last bolt, uh, bud doesn't develop. And yet it still develops the terminal one. So another four or five blooms on that one. I'll let that one go. Um, this is the uh, Brontosaurus thing. Um, I'll put a pop up. But that's got a new spike developing. So both of those plants, they were separated a while ago because it was a, a plant with a, a plantlet, a kiki, whatever you want to call it, that had hardly any roots. So the root system on this bit, which wasn't that good, was trying to feed two plants. Um, not that successfully but this has got some roots down in the pot with some growing tips and um, it's now pushing out a spike it hasn't long had a spike actually so that's not bad and this little one hasn't bloomed for I don't know how long <laughs> but that's got a little spike on it as well I've always found that the mini phalaenopsis are not very vigorous and um, this one lost all its roots not that long ago um, so it's managed to push some more roots out it's grown a new leaf that's nearly mature now. Um, that might be as big as it gets, I don't know. But it's pushing a little spike out. So again, this is another one that I haven't got a clue what colour it is or anything about it until it blooms. And nearly all of my Phalaenopsis were in that state at the start of this year. <clears throat> They'd all bloomed, most were bought in bloom. But I didn't tag them. So until they rebloom and I can get a tag on there with their colours and size and stuff, I don't know which one's which. So I haven't got a clue what colour that's going to be. I've got a feeling it's a white one, but we'll have to wait and see, providing the spike develops and uh, no reason why it shouldn't. I mean, it's not a brilliant root system, but it's got some, you know, and there's some growing tips in there. So it's got these aerial ones as well, which are a flipping nuisance to try and water. So you can't forget your aerial ones. When you water your pot, you need to pour water over the aerial ones as well and hydrate them, or they will just dry up, unless you've got incredibly high humidity in the air, which now they're indoors, I haven't. So, yeah, it's important to water the aerial ones as well. Just pour water on them till they start to go green. That'll do. Keep them going. And it all helps the plant, so... Uh, Anyway, um, that's the uh, spare clips left over from yesterday and a um, couple of, well, a few bits and pieces and uh, I'll leave that one at that. Um, that gives me a, a video in hand, effectively. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that was Wednesdays is being done now. This will be Thursdays. I'm not sure you'll get one on Friday. It depends what I'm up to. And then Saturday is the Wessex Orchid Show, which I'll be going to. So I certainly won't be doing anything during the day except go to the show, which I'll obviously film. And um, those videos don't take long to knock together. The hardest bit is finding a suitable piece of music to play along. But I'll film the show and I'll probably get that posted either Saturday evening if I'm feeling energetic. And if I'm not, it'll be Sunday morning. Okay, thanks for dropping by. See you again.